Greetings and salutations, everyone. Sorry I missed you yet again on Sunday, but I had something coming. So rather than throwing out some random video that I had to make up off the top of my head, I figured I'd hold off until I actually had something meaningful. Eh, I don't know. <clears throat> so, uh, a while back, there was one of you guys out there who posted a comment up, and I'm going to see if I can't find it and throw it up here, because it had me dying. Uh over one of the Springer videos. And when you see it, you're probably gonna lol yourself into that dude. That was fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen a funnier comment ever. So this video is for you. So I've been talking about wanting to get a new seat on the Springer and today's the day. So off comes uh, my buddy's heritage seat, which I appreciate him letting me borrow. It's comfy. But it doesn't lock me into place. It doesn't fit the style of the bike. It doesn't fit my style. And on this bike, it really gives me some serious grandpa vibes. So that's out of here. And over here, and any of you guys have watched my videos, you already know what it is. We got a brand new Saddleman. This is their Renegade. And I asked them to get the, the smooth layer out of there and throw in a carbon fiber, or at least carbon fiber, uh, cover instead. So we still have the regular smooth sides with the black stitch and all that. But what I like about this, and I couldn't tell on the pictures on their website, is it comes set up for either a top mount on your fender or a side mount on the frame. I'm currently running the top mount I'm really hoping I can run these instead because it's just a lot sleeker, a lot more, I don't know, stealthy, if you will. So I've already got the seat bolt off. I'm going to yoink that seat out of there and hope I've got somewhere I can bolt that up to. And that if it does work, it'll hide this unsightly bolt hole. So let's get that out of here. So we'll set that on the floor gently because I'm sure my friend's watching and see what we have. I've got a plastic cap right there, so I'm betting behind that are probably some threads. So I'm gonna get a, one of my picks, I'm gonna get that out of there and do a quick dry fit and see if it lines up, I'm really hoping. Okay, so we're in luck. There were in fact threads behind those caps and because I don't have a small enough, uh, I, I don't, I don't know, pipe cleaner or wire stick. I just uh, grabbed, find it here, one of the, the handy bolts that Saddleman did provide, which is a 5 16 And I just chased the hole through with the bolt to kind of get that surface rust out of there. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. So now just whether or not the seat is going to hide that bolt. But that's super cool, Saddleman. I, I didn't know they were going to send that. So, yay me. And in addition, you know, I obviously get both of them. Get another one of the, the rubber isolators, stickers, directions. But it's really straightforward. I mean, if we end up using this, you just pop these two out. You give this a 180 and you pop these back in, snug them down. So, but I'm going to try not to use that. I'm probably still going to remove it just so I don't accidentally bang on my fender so let me do that pull that and then we'll give it a fit see if uh, we're lucky all the way through Woo! all right so seats on the way I wanted to do it and it's I like it and I don't like it and I'll, and I'll show you why so first off I mean the seat looks great you know, it follows the lines real nice. Doesn't stick way out like the old one did. You know, that's a lot more subtle. Uh, that's one of the things I like and I don't like. It's a lot more subtle, but now if I ever have to take this off, I have to make sure I have access to a 5 16 socket so I can spin that out. And it wasn't easy getting those in, get everything lined up. But that's probably more operator error than it is anything else. So the other thing that I don't like that I think, I hope, will work its way out as I use it 
is this gap. Right here, I mean, look at that. I mean, I've got my fingertips on my ECU. I mean, that's, that's a big old gap. Now, granted, when I sit on it, it comes down. So I'm hoping that maybe that'll relax a little bit. I don't like that. And obviously, with the mounting there, if we ran the bracket, I think it would be landing more up here as opposed to there. So I don't think that would have been an option for us anyway. So I love the seat. And settlement always kills it. It's comfortable. It actually locks me in. But having to always have a, a 516s handy if I need to take that seat off, like if the battery dies or something, not a huge fan of. So, I mean, I would run the thumb screw even though it's less sleek, but I don't think that's gonna be an option. I don't like the big gap above the fender, but I hope that will relax. I don't know that it will. Their, their seat pans are really hard. So we'll see, yeah. I, but it definitely works with the bike a whole lot better than that one from my buddy's heritage. So, but I said Saddleman killed it. It's comfy, it locks me in, it looks good. I was a little worried that the carbon fiber would kind of take away from the old schoolness, but I don't think it does. It's just subtle enough to where you're only gonna notice it if the sun hits it right or if you're up on it. So, I mean, from a, a rear profile, if that sun doesn't screw with us too much, you know, that's that's a lot slimmer. I like that. Really thins up the bike as opposed to the this big chunky guy. So anyway, that's it. Solid win. I'll put a link down below uh, for uh, this particular seat. Now, I had to call a guy and talk with him over the phone. He assured me the seat would work, and it, it does. Like 98% does. Uh, but and I had to ask for the carbon fiber replacement that wasn't an option so be warned it did cost I think 25 bucks extra 20 25 it was worth it to me because I like the carbon fiber look so and then again dude who made that comment you killed me uh, look forward to more comments from all of you uh, but you as well you know keep me laughing so that's all I've got. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Otherwise, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Later.